This JavaScript challenge is for day four, and here we're going to deal with JavaScript objects. So the task here is to complete this function to return an object. This object is going to have the following properties, the length, width, perimeter, and area. Now this here is for a rectangle, so we need to define the length of the rectangle, the width, perimeter, and the area. This is how you can solve this challenge. So you have the return keyword because you want to return something. And what we need to return is the object. So for object, you have curly braces like this here. This is the opening one and this is the closing one. And then you have key value pairs. So you have the property here or the attributes and the value. Don't forget the colon here and also the comma to separate the different pairs. So this here is one key value pair. This is the second one. This here is a third one, which is the perimeter. So we can have different operations here. It's going to get evaluated as the value and the same thing here. Now for the last one, we don't need any comma because this is the last one. So for the length, we know that the length is going to be A because when you look at the rules here, they say that this value, the length is equal to A, the width is equal to B, which is what we have here. And the perimeter, as you learned in math school when you were younger, it's two times A plus B. So it's this one here. And for the perimeter is the length times the width. So that's it. This is going to return the object for the rectangle. This is how they are using it. Basically, they get some inputs for A and B, which is the length and the width of the rectangle. Then they create a new rectangle object where they pass the length and the width. So this here is going to return this object. And then here, they simply log the length, the width, the perimeter, and the area. Notice that to access the different values here inside of the object, they use the name of the object, which is rec, right here, for rectangle. And then they call the property that they want, or the attributes. So here they have rec.length to print the length of the rectangle. Then they have rec.width for the width of the rectangle, and so on. So let's run this code now. We've passed the sample test case. And when I submit this code, we should pass all the three test cases. So that's it for day four. It was called create a rectangle object. If you like this video, please subscribe to my channel and I'll catch you next time.